Legion of Leasers, Army of Apartment Maniacs. We've got two, two questions that I'm gonna answer today. But before I do, I wanna make sure, do you, are you, you, I'm talking to you, not the other people, I'm talking to you. Do you work in property management? Yeah, you do, don't you? Have you subscribed to the channel? You haven't subscribed yet, have you? And more importantly, have you hit the little bell, the ding, 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 ding bell that's gonna let you know a notification when I'm about ready to give you some dynamite, when I'm about ready to drop the boom, the hammer, and give you that actionable information that's gonna make your life easier? You haven't done it yet, have you? We're all gonna wait. We're waiting. Just hit the subscribe. There is a little red button, little red box. Just click that red box right there. Hey, red box, how you doing? Click it, and then I want you to click the notifications because I am going to make all your dreams in property management, underscore in property management, come true. And if all your dreams in your career come true, well, then all your dreams in life are going to be that much more likely to come true. Why? Because you're going to have a lot more money. You're going to be a whole lot less stressed. Your career is going to see you later. Go all the way to the moon. You're probably going to be the next CEO of a REIT. Let's answer a couple questions. They came from the great and powerful Lillian Rose out there in the Legion of Leasers. She's a general in the army of apartment maniacs. All right. So she's got two questions. I want to couple them both on this video. The first one goes in line with Sinan's question from yesterday about how do I get them to love the apartment on the phone? Remember, the answer was we're going to focus on silos, okay? I'm not going to go into that right now. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to it right here. Click on the link to that video and watch that first before we go through this answer. But the great and powerful Lillian Rose asked, what if they are out of state or city and you can't get them inside to tour the community. This is that example that we talked about on Sedan's question yesterday. I need you as a professional to kind of feel for that. It's very simple. You know, where are you living right now? Oh, I'm living in uh, Chicago right now. And let's say your, your apartment complex is in Boulder, Colorado. Oh, are you in Chicago right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Chicago right now. I, you know, I'm going to be coming to town in a couple weeks. I want to line up all my tours. Ah, if they're out of town. You need to remind them of all the things that they need to get done in this state to state move. I'm with you. Oh, I agree. Oh, I remember the last time I, I moved out of state. I know it's stressful, but don't worry. You called the right person. Hey, did, you know what? Does it make sense? Can I, can I FaceTime you right now? Because I think I've got the perfect apartment in mind based on what you told me. How about we just go up there? I'll do the, the FaceTime tour with you. Try all the time. If they are out of town, I want you to try and show them the apartment via your FaceTime, via whatever app your property management company will allow you to use. If they won't allow you to do a two-way chat, that's kind of a bummer, but you can always send them photographs. Here's the thing. You're doing yourself a favor when you try and close them over the phone if they're out of town. And more importantly, you're doing them a favor because what ends up happening is prospects schedule, okay, I'm going to be in town for three days. They'll schedule four or five visits. They'll miss two. Something will come up. Their Uber driver will get lost. They end up pressure just compresses and compresses and compresses on itself and they end up selecting an apartment that's not the best apartment for them. They end up selecting something because they're in town and their flight leaves at 7 p.m. and they just don't have time to come and see that last property. Well, that last property, Murphy's Law, is, is your property and you've got the best product for them. So always offer. You don't have to be pushy, but offer. Hey, does it make sense for me to stop what I'm doing, I'll run up. We can FaceTime up in the unit there because these things are going like hotcakes. I don't even know if the unit's still going to be available when you get here. And I know how many other decisions that are just waiting to be made until you figure out where you're going to live. Wouldn't it make sense? Let's go ahead and look at that via FaceTime so that we can get this out of the way if possible, if you like it. Let's lock it down, okay, so that when you come to town, you can knock out all the other stuff that you've got to knock out. That's how you deal with somebody out of town on the phone, but you need to make sure you're asking those questions. 
Hence, leasing university phone training. Check that out. All right. The great and powerful Lillian Rose also had a bonus question. You owe me, Lillian. I'm answering two questions for you today. She said, and this is one where we were talking about how to ask renters questions. There's a previous video we were talking about what questions to ask them. And one of the questions was, they, what do they want to see first? What do they like most? The great and powerful Lillian Rose said, and what if your prospect says they don't have anything particular that they are looking for. I want you, we're gonna do a quick survey here. I want you to smash that like button if you've ever heard your prospects say, you know, what do you look for? Uh, nothing in particular. If you've ever heard nothing in particular and the smoke starts to billow out of your ears, smash the like button right now if you've heard that because I'm gonna count likes. I have a feeling none of you have heard this before, but let's see. Actually, I have a feeling that probably 4,000 of you have heard this before, but we're gonna see how many of you smash that like button. So Lillian, great, great, great question. Powerful question for you to ask. Why? Because you're great and powerful. I wouldn't expect anything else from the great and powerful Lillian Rose. So when you ask your prospect anything in terms of what do you wanna see first, what's most important to you, and they say nothing particular, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your therapist hat on. The good kind of therapist, not the Hannibal Lecter. Hello, Clarice, a nice bottle of Chianti. Don't put that, because that's creepy. Put your good therapist hat on, and what therapists do when they have a blockage with a client or with a patient that they're working with, this is why they always revert to your past. Talk to me about your childhood. What was it like in third grade? It was terrible. Dodge Meadows put duct tape on my head. Ah, I digress. I'm gonna need to go to therapy if I keep bringing up Dodge Meadows again. I lost my train of thought. He was such a, a, a terrible guy. He really did put duct tape on my hair. It's probably why my hair is so short today. But ask them if they say nothing in particular. I get it. I'm with you. Always, always agree. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, tell me a little bit about where you're living right now. Oh, well, I'm over at the uh, the Oaks uh, right now. So what do you like? What do you like most about that? Oh, you know, I like uh, I like the view. If you could change anything about where you're living right now, what would you change? I'll tell you what I'd change. I changed the fact that I got to drive 30 miles to work. Oh, where do you work? Oh, I work right across the street. Huh. All right, let's say we got the, we got the uh, location. Talk to me a little bit about what's your ideal scene. When you're at home right now, what else would you change that would just make it kind of your ideal scene? Well, yeah, I, I, honestly, I'd like to be on a little bit of a higher floor. I feel a little bit better on a higher floor. And, you know, my, my, my appliances... And they're a little bit old. And when I say old, I mean avocado green and not the new avocado green, the actual old avocado green. So, you know, I'd like my ideal scene would be, I'd like to change those appliances out. Now, all of a sudden you've primed that pump, Lillian Rose, and you've got them talking about what's important to them. It is amazing. I want you to try this. Hey, what do you want to see? What do you want to see first? Ah, nothing really. Oh, okay. All right. What's most important to you? And eh, you know, an apartment. Talk to me about where you're living right now. Oh, let me tell you about where I'm. Talk to me about out of every place you've ever lived in your entire life, what was your favorite? Oh, my favorite. My favorite was my first apartment out of college. It was I, this park in Chicago. I love that place. I love that place. What did you love about it? You know what? It was small, but it felt so awesome because the windows were so big and I loved the view. Suddenly this person that was like, I don't want to see anything, nothing in particular. I just need an apartment. They are going to open up to you. So we're going to put our therapist hat on and we're going to ask them to talk about their past. Where have you live? Where are you living now? Where have you lived before? What was your favorite place that you ever lived at? What was your least favorite? Why, why was that the least favorite? Practice all of this stuff. Now we go through that over at leasinguniversity.com and this is something that we knock out real quick and easy in my live training event. So if you want me, Lillian Rose, if you want me to come out and work with the team, just call my office. Lillian Rose is gonna be calling. I want you to put her through directly to me on the VIP line. You're all a VIP, but Lillian, Lillian, cover your ears. I'm gonna make all you VIPs. No, she actually is a VIP. 
888-735-7451. Lillian, when you call, we'll talk about setting up some live training. Anybody else that wants live training? Anybody else that has questions? I am traveling so much with these live trainings. I will do my best to get you answers, but bear with me if I am traveling. You can tell I'm kind of losing my voice because I was coaching all day yesterday. Put your questions below because you've already subscribed and you've already hit the notifications. Put your questions below. I'll do my best to answer them. I want to help make your life easier. My legion of leasers, my subscribers, my hit the notificationers. Is that a word? Wasn't a word. Please comment below. Let me know what you need. I will do my best to get it to you. And until the next video, my name is Matt Easton. You already know that probably. I'm the founder of Leasing University, the number one sales training platform in the world for apartment leasing consultants. And what do I want you to do? There's two things I want you to do besides subscribe and hit notifications. I want you to be great and get those leases.